Hi everyone, uh, I'm now going to do a short video on how to air start my DY Aveling and Barford roller. It's a short video following on from the one I did last year when I showed you how to hand start. So here we go. First of all, there's a couple of things that you need to check. First of all, make sure that you've got plenty of air in your air cylinder. I normally have about 300-350 uh, 300, PSI. That should be sufficient for at least one start anyway. The other thing you need to make sure, purely for safety, is that the brakes set and the uh, gearbox is in the neutral position. Likewise, the clutch lever is in the centre position, or again, neutral position. Again, the same as starting uh, the engine manually on the starting handle, you need to uh, turn the flywheel until it's on full compression, and then back half a turn. to that point. The hand throttle then needs uh, opening up slightly. And then climb on the engine. And you need to pump the fuel pump handle to prime, to prime the engine. And then leave the handle in the top position. The next thing we need to do is to push the air valve lever, which is this device here, between the cam and the starter valve stem, which is that there. If you can see it, I'll just pull back again. So we need to push that between the two, like that. And then we rotate the cam, rotate the flywheel until the cam comes back onto the lever and pushes the air valve open. As you can see, I've now turned the flywheel so that the cam is now pressing against the starter lever, the air start lever. It's always better if you remove the starter paper holder from the cylinder head because then you're not turning against uh, compression. Again, once you've turned the cam back via the crankshaft flywheel, then you need to put a lighter paper in the holder, light it and place it rapidly back from whence it came in the cylinder head. Once you've replaced the fuse holder in the cylinder head, onto the man stand and open the air valve. Once you've opened the air valve, when the, air, when the engine has turned over approximately half a dozen times, as quick as possible, drop the pump down, pump handle down and move back the starter valve lever out the way and then turn her on to full compression and if necessary you need then to back off the throttle and there you have it simple as that
I've just set the throttle control. Before that, I made sure I got a nice hard fuel system. Decompressor is on half compression. it using air. Keep doing that till you've got 300 PSI in. 